Nine-year-old Bethan has type 1 diabetes. She uses a special pump to deliver insulin when required, while mum Lizzie watches her diet. Before her diagnosis, life was tough. Well, I was felt very, like, weak and tired all the time. We noticed that she'd become quite thin, she'd lost a lot of weight, and... She didn't have all of the signs that other children normally have with type 1. She didn't have the excess thirst and urinating, just lost a lot of weight. Um, so she's been diagnosed for 15 months now. Now Bethan's the picture of health and the news could get better. The University of Exeter Medical School has made a major discovery that could lead to better treatment and even prevention of the disease. It's always been thought that when people get type 1 diabetes, they've lost as many as 90% of their insulin producing cells from the pancreas. What we found is that whilst that may be true for the younger children, it certainly doesn't appear to be true for those who are older. They have quite a considerable reserve of cells left. That's a new insight and it might mean that if we could reactivate those cells, we could help them to cope better with their illness. Researchers found that those diagnosed with diabetes before the age of seven develop a more aggressive form of the disease than teenagers. Although well adjusted to her daily routine, Bethan also has high hopes for the ongoing research. If one day in the future they find a cure or something, lots and lots of people are going to be like really happy. A child diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 5 faces up to 19,000 insulin injections and 50,000 finger prick blood tests before they reach 18 years old.